Thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak. Hear that? That's why it's very important to hear the word of the Most High. They would just say, hey, I stand before the face of the Most High and my shot down the shot. Zachariah, like, doubt me, right? He doubted. It. So how's it gonna happen? I'm old, man, and my wife is old. <laughs> so Gabriel said, what? You're gonna be dumb and not able to speak, read. Until the day that these things shall be performed. Because thou shalt, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. See? That's why it's very important that you understand the spirit of the Most High because he had to I mean a woman carry a baby about nine months, right? So you're gonna be dumb, you ain't gonna be able to speak until this happens, man. You're gonna recognize. <laughs> That's serious. But our people take this lightly if you want. When you start seeing, you're gonna start seeing these things materialize. Remember, say, we, we ain't seen no signs. But all the most I gonna start showing up. When you start showing up, look out. Give me a Mark the 11th chapter. Well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pay attention. We gotta, we gotta. That's order. You know what I mean? That's like, that's order. He went against the order. So he said, "Man, you gonna be dumb. You ain't gonna better speak until she have this baby. Since you don't believe me, you gonna be the word of the Most High." He said, "Hey, man, I stand before the throne of the Most High." And you mean to tell me the Most High don't know? What he told me to come and tell you, better recognize. Mark 11 and read verse uh, 20, uh, 24. Read verse 22. Let's read 22 to 24. It's very important what we just read. Read that. Mark 11, verse 22. And Amashiach Yahawashiach answered and said unto them, Have faith in the Most High. So, this is what we have to do. But we have, you understand this, we have examples that we're looking at that we can always look at. Okay, don't do like they do, or else you're going to receive the same consequence, or worse. That's why I said we're going to be beat with more stripes than those that don't know, because we're supposed to, we're supposed to know. Read. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. They tell him we don't have whatever we say. Not an angel that came. I mean, come on, man, it's no excuse because when you go back and look at it, and, uh, at uh, Zacharias, <laughs> read uh, uh, Luke one and thought at uh. Read verse five down. We're gonna read the five, five to uh, twelve. Luke chapter one, verse five. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia, Abiah, Abiah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron. So his, his wife was a Levi, right? And her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before the Most High, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Most High blameless. Right, so they were righteous. Zechariah and Elizabeth, right? And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren. And they both were now well stricken in years. So then you know that they were 
up in age. Elizabeth couldn't have any children, right? And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before the Most High in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Most High. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without without at a time of incense. Right, so that's why we burn frankincense and myrrh in the, in, the, in the temple. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense, when he was burning the incense in the temple, right? And there appeared unto him an angel this of the Most High. See. There appeared unto Zechariah an angel of the Most High. We know his name is Gabriel now, right? Standing on the right hand side of the altar of incense. Standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Standing on the right side of the altar of incense. What happened to Zechariah? Moses, what happened when he seen him, right? And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. So he got afraid. But he's not gonna listen to what the angel said. He already, I mean, initially he was afraid. But the angel told him what, read? But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. Now all of a sudden he even got confident. <laughs> he didn't got confident. Because the angel told him, Fear not, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard. Now what? Oh, wow. You mean to tell me I, I got power with the most high? But first he was afraid of Gabriel. He was troubled and fear fell upon him. A lot of men fainted when they seen an angel. That's all I want on that. Go back to uh, Mark 11. Verse 24. Mark 11, verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, Believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. So don't be praying on negative prayers. That's why you got to get off the negative. Oh, this is that. This negative, 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 most high, negative, negative, most high. It's okay. Well, that's what I'm going to give you. Negative. You want to be blessed? Pray for blessings and believe that you're going to receive them. Have faith in the most high that you're going to receive them. You shall have them. Give me the condition, read. And when you stand praying, forget if ye ought, if ye have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Gotta forgive. When you start praying, you can't stand praying. You got problems with everybody. Most I gonna look down upon you and see that you have little faith because you don't believe in what he's saying do. You understand, if you don't do what he say do, then you have little faith. You can say all the faith you have, but your work show that you don't have faith because you're not doing what he say do. And there's no excuse for not knowing, okay? You didn't know that you were, that there was a, a, a no turn that they had hidden over to the side. You rolling around and you made a left turn. They said left, no left turn way over to the right. But you done made the left turn, you guilty. Anyway, they go say, oh, you're going to tell the, 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 the officer, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't see the sign. Too bad. <laughs> right? <laughs> Too bad. you still going to get a ticket. Now, the Most High has given us the opportunity to know. If you don't know, you should inquire to know. But if you don't, if you don't know, you just go about doing whatever you're doing. You're going to receive a judgment from the Most High. That's why I said, when you stand praying, forgive you have out against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. V. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. That's why, man, you gotta let that go. You gotta let it go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't just be stuck on stupid and trying to think that you're going to receive what you want. You're sitting there without it against someone. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Get uh, First Peter's first chapter.
el vida Read our verse, start at verse 18. First Peter chapter 1, verse 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold. Read meaning, we was redeemed back to the most high by silver and gold. Nobody, nobody paid no money was to be redeemed back to the most, should be adopted back to the most high. Me? From your vain conversations received by traditions from your father. That's right. North from our, from the vain, worthless conversation received by the tradition of our forefathers. Read. But with the precious blood of the Mashiach Yahushua, as if a land without blemish and without spot. But with the precious blood of the Mashiach Yahushua, the Lamb of the Most High, without blemish and without spot, meaning without sin. Read. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. He, this was ordained before the foundation of the world. Read. But was manifest in these last times for you. And you was Israel. He was, was manifest for us. Read. Who by him do you who by him do believe in the most high that raised him from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in the most high. That's right. Who by him do believe in the most high that raised him from the dead on the third day and gave him glory to sit on the right side of the most high. That your faith, your belief in the Most High, and hope in the Most High might be in the Most High. I'll show you myself, God, shall I read? See, ye have purified your souls and obeyed the truth through the Spirit unto unfeed love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. That's right, man. See that ye have purified your souls, your body, and obeying the truth, obeying the laws of the Most High. That's the truth. Through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. Genuine, unfeigned means genuine love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Read. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of the Most High. So that's how you're born again. By what? The what? The word of the Most High. That's how you be born again, by the word of the Most High. Not according to how you feel, or how you think, or how they talk to you in a Christian church. You will be born again by the word of the Most High, me. Which liveth and abideth forever. Which liveth and abideth forever, Ephesians 5, 26. First Peter 1. 18, but this, that was uh, verse 23. Being born again by the word of the Most High. Ephesians 5, 26. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse him. So to be sanctified is to be cleaned up. Ha. And cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. By the word. You know, they have taught our people that uh, it's uh, the, the Holy Spirit is some kind of feeling that they get when the music starts going. They just start jumping up and jumping around and no. St. John 15, 3. St. John chapter 15, verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you. St. John 15 and 3. Is that it? Yeah. Oh no. This book got me. I don't know. St. John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. See, that's how you clean. Through the word that Amashiach Kawashar is speaking unto us. 
St. John 17, 17. St. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. See? Psalms 119, 142. So that's why people look at this as the word. Okay, well, the word, this is the importance of the word that he's talking about to be cleaned up. Psalms 119. 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. See? What's the truth? Thy law is the truth. The law is the truth. See? This is what we gotta look at, because it's still gonna come back to the most sides of laws. And as we learn the moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws, that's how we cleaned up. Say the law is the truth. Get Matthew 28. Read verse uh, 18. Matthew 28, verse 18. And Amashak Yahweh came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Right. He said, all power has been given to a Mashiach that was shot in heaven and in earth. To do what? St. John 5 and 22. St. John chapter 5, verse 22. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. See, the Most High has committed all judgment unto a Masiach that was shot, read. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. See? He gave them all judgment that all men could honor the Son even as they honor the Most High. So you don't honor, honor the Son, you don't honor the Most High. That's what he's letting us clearly know. 1 John 2, 23. 1 John 2, 23. First John chapter two verse twenty-three. Whosoever denied the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son had the Father also. Right, who's of the not the Son hath not the Father. But he that acknowledged the Son hath the Father also. Because we can't get to the most high unless we go through a Mashiach Calvary shot. Get a, uh, uh, since you're 1 John 2 and read verse 3. St. John chapter 2, 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. We'll read verse 2. 1 John chapter 2, verse 2. And he is the propitiation for our sin. Mashiach And not and not for ours only. Not for ours only, he's saying. Read. But also the sins of the whole world. Now the whole world is talking about the world, the whole world of Israel. When you read uh, Isaiah 45, 17, get that so we can prove that. Right quick. Because people will take that and run with it. Oh, see, that's everybody. It's not everybody. The whole world of Israel. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Right. But Israel 